Nevada Senator Dean Heller flew to Las Vegas yesterday with President Trump on board Air Force One. And Senator, good morning to you from the Strip, and thank you for your time here. I just want yeah, to, uh, first of all, Bill, my condolences you. to the people you represent in the state of thank Nevada. You. How is thank Las you. Vegas doing and the people there? Well, you know, Las Vegas, Las Vegas will always bounce back, but this was a horrific event. But I do want to thank you. I want to thank the nation uh, for their condolences and prayers. Uh, I even received a, a, a text message from a cab driver in New York City uh, sharing his sentiments from all the cab drivers in New York City. When you're getting those kind of text messages, you know this has pulled on some real heart, heartstrings no around question. the nation. No question. Tell me about the conversation with the president yesterday. Um, where was his head and heart on this? Well, you know, it's not very often that you get a couple hours of face time with the president at 30,000 feet, but uh, I was fortunate yesterday to have that opportunity. I went to the governor, uh, the mayor here in Las Vegas, and also the sheriff, uh, Sheriff Lombardo, and said, hey, what questions do you want me to ask? Uh, Ask the president. This is our opportunity to get Las Vegas in front of the president. You know, he he was concerned. He has some ties uh, to this community. He does own some property here, so he has real sentiments for this uh, this community. The fact that we had a chance to talk about some of the heroic acts by ordinary people doing extraordinary things, helping their fellow citizens, is just an amazing story, and uh, has. Literally getting those stories out has helped the healing process, and having the president here yesterday does also help the healing process as we move Las Vegas yeah. forward. Let me share some uh, some of that with our viewers. Once you touch down, he said the following when he was with those in Las Vegas. I'm actually going over to the police department, who likewise, Doctor. Unbelievable. The fact that they were able to locate that zone and get in there, they say 11 minutes. Whatever it was, it kept him busy, and he stopped firing because he knew they were coming into that door at some point. Uh, I think they did an incredible job. The professionalism has just been amazing. And the hero in a lot of this is really going to turn out to be a security guard who worked for the Mandalay Bay, uh, who, who got the door first. Sir, I want to go through a couple things here. I, I don't know how much you can answer this, sure. but we're all looking for answers. It's Thursday. It is yeah. day four and a half, but it is still only day four and a half. What about a motive? What can right. you add, Senator? Well, you know, the conversations and the briefings that I've had with Sheriff, uh, Sheriff Lombardo, he does believe that this shooter was trying to escape, um, and that's his hunch. Uh, sheriff Lombardo is a, a smart guy, and I'm with the sheriff on this one I, uh, until he's proven wrong. But they're trying to figure out, frankly, what the motivation, what makes a madman go up on the 32nd floor of this building behind me and just spray uh, bullets down on concert goers. And like you said, it's only been uh, just over 72 hours uh, since this incident occurred. We're going to learn a lot more in the days and weeks to come. Uh, but everybody wants answers to how this and, happened. And, and my guess is they know a lot already, but the electronics that were found in the home in Reno, I'm certain, is telling them a lot. Uh, a couple pointed questions here. This was premeditated. Okay. He worked on this for some time. Um, a, a sick individual. Is there a suggestion of mental sure. illness yet? Um, I understand that he was on depressants, uh, Bill. Uh, we don't know the extent of that. At least I haven't been briefed on what the extent of that is. Uh, but he was a madman, and the fact that he could premeditate something like this is beyond what anybody can comprehend here in Las Vegas and across this nation. Was he working um, I, with? I want to thank. Yeah. Was he working with other senator, or was he doing this on his own? We think right now. Yeah. The uh, sheriff right now is looking into that. He believes that there may have been others uh, involved in this. At this point, it's not clear, and I certainly haven't been briefed uh, on that fact. By the way, I want to go back and thank again the president for his comments and that film you, that piece you just showed, uh, shows you uh, that that he was engaged, and uh, I was uh, pleased uh, that he had as, as strong an understanding as he did of what happened here in Las Vegas. I can appreciate that, and I'm certain you did as well. What about connection to outside groups? Was he working with extremists? Was he influenced by them? Are they a part of this investigation now? 
Well, it'll always be part of this particular investigation, but we certainly don't have uh, real evidence uh, that there were th those kind of influence or those kind of outside groups. Uh, we won't uh, stop this investigation until we have an answer to that. Again, we don't have the answer. It's only been just over 72 hours, and I think in the uh, days and weeks to come, we'll have a clear understanding. All right. Um, when you get back to Washington, you know the debate that's already raging about gun control and these bump sure. stocks. Uh, sure. Representative Lewis, a Democrat from Georgia, said the following about all this debate now watch don't tell me this is about protecting the second amendment when you won't stand up for the first amendment don't tell me this is about anything other than greed greed money and fear so this debate continues on the bump stock that was apparently used on these um, long rifles where does that go, and would you support a ban on them? That seems to be the essential question of the week. Yeah, keep in mind that this was an Obama-era uh, regulation that was put into place back in 2010. And uh, obviously, we're going to have this conversation. But let me be clear. I'm not interested in watering down the Second Amendment. What I'm interested in is trying to figure out how uh, some man uh, madman can go in that building that's right behind me and spray bullets down on 22,000 concert goers. You show me the law uh, that would stop that. Not only will I support it, I'll be an advocate for that law. No. Oh. You had mentioned a moment ago how much understanding the president had. What did you mean by that comment as, as it relates to what, Senator? Yeah. As I was uh, uh, talking to the president on my cell phone, I had a picture of a number of uh, survivors walk through uh, their stories and what they were able to do and some of the heroic events that occurred during this time. I even have a picture of a woman who had a cell phone in her hand that has a bullet hole through it, a uh, respiratory therapist at uh, UMC, and uh, she had some tissue wounds. Uh, she uh, uh, bandaged herself up and then went to the hospital, probably should have been in the hospital herself, but was spent spent that time trying to help other patients and did so for 10 or 12 hours. Those are the kind of stories that he knew, he understood. There was a deputy, uh, a sheriff's deputy at UMC. I asked if he'd go visit him. He was on the second day, second day of the job uh, when he got shot at this event. His dad was also a sheriff's deputy who happened to be a participant at the concert. But those are the kind of stories and messages that I wanted to share with the president and ask him if he would certainly take time uh, to visit visit some of these survivors and listen to their stories, and he yeah. did. And that's what, what's important at mm -hmm. this point, is for him to engage, which he did, and uh, help in this healing process, which he has helped. And these stories just go on and on and on. Yes. Give the people there our best, Senator, and thank you for coming on today. No, Dean Heller, you. Senator thank from Nevada, much. with us live from the Strip. Good luck. Thanks.